Hello to users, it's me once again. Now, first of all, I want to say thank you, um, many of you out there who have actually um, paid compliments to my review towards the the device of Bang & Olufsen E8. And now I thought I covered most of it. You already know that I uploaded five or six at least video clips. And one other thing that I realized that I haven't covered and quite few of you actually queried about is the audio delay. Potential audio delay for Bang & Olufsen Bluetooth um, BioPlay E8. And I'm going to show you a very short clip from one of my favorite clip from um, um, Rush Hour 3. And I'm going to compare it with my um, Beats Studio Wireless. Okay. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use my right hand side earbud and I'm going to place it near it to my, uh, my microphone uh, hole, should we say. <laughs> um, and then play you and see how well the lip synchronization is shown on this. So let's get it on with the uh, Rush Hour 3. From, first of all, we're going to try the Bang & Olufsen E8. Okay, so here it goes. All right, so that is from um, Bang & Olufsen E8. And what I'm going to do is going to do the same thing with Beats Studio Wireless, okay, by showing you the same clip. And um, probably you spot the difference, okay? Um, so here it goes. Um, that's, I guess, the quick um, comparison between Bang & Olufsen and Beats Wireless, Studio Wireless, okay? So I hope you spot the difference. I'm being very critical here, and um, the Beats, sorry, the Bang & Olufsen E8, if I'm being very, very, very harsh on it, I think you can spot like once one of a tenth seconds of a delay. I think that's the feel I get out. Obviously, I'm an expert. I'm not an expert on this, but unfortunately for Beats Wireless Studio Wireless, it's um, almost like a half a second of a delay. And I hope that is shown on this video clip. Maybe some of you will say, well, it's pretty much the same. I'm not sure, but as a, someone who actually used these product, I mean, this product Beats Studio Wireless, I used it for more than a year at least. Um, Bang & Olufsen um, E8, I had this for more or less a month. And I'm so pleased with this. Um, I like watch U YouTube videos. I hardly spot any delays. I listen to music. The sound quality is really good. And um, the the battery life is pretty good as well. Four hours and um, using the charging dock is you can use it up to extra 10 hours on it. Um, yes, this is 40 hours up to 40 hours, but then again, um, the beats quality is one of the best. Yes, the, you know, the drums and the beat sound, but there is actually a feeling of a delay when you actually watch a movie clip, when, especially when someone, a TV documentary, should we say, or any like movie clips, you can see that there's a delay in the lip syncing, um, synchronization, should we say. Um, so I hope this video, you find it most useful. But overall, I just want to confess one thing, by the way, because I'm so pleased with this product of Bang & Olufsen E8, I decided to give, um, I know I used it, it is a second hand, but indeed, but um, I decided to give this um, Beats Studio Wireless to my wife, um, mainly because of the sound quality. I'm so pleased with this. And um, the secondary reason is because my head shape is not perfectly fit for the design of Beats uh, headset for some reason. So anyway, I hope you find this video um, re review regards to E8 and Studio Wireless useful. And, and I hope that covered the potential audio delay on whether there's any audio delay on um, Bang & in E8. And I hope I clarify that. Um, so thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, this is love, Jesus, please. Bye.